Hey YouTube, figured I'd give you a little update here on the 64 Galaxy 500. I uh, had it parked over at my buddy's house and uh, you know a guy was goofing around online the other night and I saw that the uh, Rust Brothers are having a small car show this year to film an episode on June 21st. And they're looking for 20 vehicles at a time to come to the show. So, deal wise, you send in a picture of your car um, with uh, an application form, and you know, 40 bucks, it's a charity deal, and uh, you get your car in the show. And it looks like I've been approved, though I haven't uh, paid my dues yet. Um, so, naturally, I immediately went out and got paperwork for the car and a permit and drove it home uh, just after midnight that night in a pouring rainstorm with no wipers and barely any brakes. And you know, actually it went surprisingly well. The car, uh, she actually drives, well, like a big old boat, uh, nice and smooth, lots of power, transmission shifts wonderfully. I think this is actually a really low mileage car. Um, since it got hit in the rear end, uh, it just got parked and sat. Um, you know, I did a little work here on the rear end, put this other trunk lid on, uh, hooked up a chain here to the bumper and the uh, rear valence, whatever you'd call that. I hooked my Land Cruiser up to it, gave her a few tugs, and you know, she, she came out. She's uh, a lot straighter than she was, anyways. And I've got this other rear, oh, there's the old trunk lid, rear valence section here too that I cut off another car. It's, uh, you know, nice and straight. We might end up Zeusing that in there at some point. So that's the deal. The car is hopefully going to be in a Rust Brothers episode for season three. And in the meantime, I've got a couple leaks here to get it running and driving a little better to handle the uh, two-hour trip up to uh, Tappan, where they film that show at the White Post Auto Museum. And my goal is to try and sell those guys this car, and maybe they'll restore it on the show. So you wish me luck with that. I uh, discovered a few issues after driving it home and doing a few more burnouts. One being my gas tank was falling out as this cross member here and the uh, trunk pans rotted out, especially over here on the passenger side. So, you know, we got this strap in there to hold her up for now, and that seems to be doing the trick, but this is going to need a trunk pan. Uh, I'm sure those are available. I was uh, right about to try and pull this plug on the rear diff and see what we got in there. there obviously there's something because it's leaking out. Um, and you know a guy had to drop another couple hundred bucks on brake parts. My brake hoses in the front were leaking real bad as were the wheel cylinders and you know I put new rear brake line in the back already and I've got to do the front ones. Everything's going to be brand new so the car is nice and safe for that drive and you know whoever gets behind it next I don't want them having the brakes fail. You know a guy might cut some uh, flat pieces out of that other trunk lid and maybe do some in here make it look a little better and try and maybe cut this hole out nicer and run the exhaust three or four inch tube may maybe sticking out of here. See if I can get that done. You know, this rocker is actually beautiful on this side. A little hole in the fender up there. But if I can patch her up a little, that'd be good. Uh, question for you all. This headlight switch right there. Is this sucker supposed to pull out or just turn? I was having trouble getting my headlights to work. I had to hardwire them. To drive home in the dark the other day but you know i did turn that thing while i was driving and that that light over there in that pillar comes on and still works as does the glove box light surprisingly 
um, the wipers work, though I didn't have any wiper arms on at the time. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for the update for now. Uh, once I get her rolling back on the road, we'll uh, give you guys another update, maybe do another driving video, and definitely let you know for sure whether she's going to make it to that car show or not. In the meantime, maybe uh, give me a comment. What do you think this car is actually worth? 64, Galaxy 500, two-door, hardtop, 352. And of course, guys, don't forget, like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so uh, you get first shot at my upcoming videos. We are going to do some fun stuff in the future. And, uh, you know, the more subscribers I get, the more videos I make, of course, maybe there's money involved at some point down the road. That's all for today. Have a good one, guys.